say, we're going to be replacing this SCR Sun Tour fork on my Diamondback Recoil Comp with this uh, Manitou Markour fork. So basically the reason for this is that uh, this fork just hasn't been cutting it. And the reason for that is that this fork is spring loaded, which means that on trails and stuff, it's just not as good as this. This fork is solo air, which means there's no springs in here. It's all just the uh, compressed air. Like so when, when it, the fork goes down like that, when you hit a rock or something, it's just gonna be the air moving around there. But this is a spring. So the advantages to this are, well, it's lighter, first of all, and then um, there's a lot more adjustability and like it, you can customize it to fit you better. The only control you really have here is just adjusting the rebound and then you can lock it out. But on this, you adjust the, the pressure of the air that's in there and then you have the same thing where you can lock it out or make it, there's a plus and a minus right here, which are settings that basically mean if you want it to be more aggressive or more like uh, loose depending on where you are. So yeah. Um, Basically what we have to do is cut this down to fit my bike and uh, then we have to take the bearing out of here and put it on this and then we can just pretty much slap it on. I don't know how much of that I'm going to film because the place that we're going to do it is going to be kind of dark and you won't be able to see much. So if it's painful to watch I might just skip to the next part and I'll tell you how the new fork feels. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do and stay tuned. Alright, my father's greasing up the bearings right now just so it's super slippery and slidey when we put it on. Grease for peace. Stokage, grease for the peace. That's what we want. Spacers go on. Slidage. Now in our case, we cut it the same length, so we don't need any more spacers. Those spacers will do. Good job. Alright, so if you have a spacer like this one, then it's got an up arrow, and we're putting the fat part up. I don't know if your brakes are going to be different. This is the Shimano style. So then you put it on there and you jam the bolts in the hole here and then uh, use some blue thread lock on the bolts when you put it on and then there's a place where you can zip tie the tube down here and here these are uh, hydraulic disc brakes if you've got cables pretty much the same thing but just locking the cable down these bolts uh, don't fit they're too long when we put them in you can see there's still like space and that's as far as they go so we're gonna have to find some around the house to use to fix it right up. So we found one that's a little bit shorter. We're gonna use the the bottom one on top because it was already shorter. And then we found one that's a little bit shorter than the bottom one, so we're gonna put that on the bottom and then we should be in boys. Okay, so we've got the the brakes for brake situated with the zip ties right there and there. And uh, you can see that the, the fork has this guide. Alright, it has this guide for the pressure that you want to put in the fork for your weight. So we're gonna do that right now and then uh, we'll be good to go. Oh, you're close to that already. All right, so we got the shock pump. We're pumping it right up. Then we'll be in. All right, so we got it on. We're all good. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a review of this fork soon, probably, when we have some more better terrain. But for now, since we're at home and we're not going mountain biking anytime soon, I'm just going to put this up and I'm just going to like take a run down the street. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch for that review. And I'll see you guys in the next video. about all the terrain we have here so thanks for watching uh, subscribe do all that see you in the next video